I guess uh, first off, thoughts on, on the second game here, uh, winning again and uh, with a walk off in extra innings. Yeah, I'm very proud of our kids. You know, after losing the first two games, we didn't particularly play as as well as we could have. Um, very good team, but we, I think we could have uh, played a little bit better. But this uh, last game, um, they could have folded it up and said, you know, <laughs> we're already two down. Let's uh, get this thing over with. But for the second weekend in a row, they refused to do that. And because of their their courage and their grit and, and their uh, you know relentless uh, work, um, they battled to the very end. Another extra inning game, another walk off, and there's no better feeling you know than that right there. And you look at the kids that that put together those innings and those you know Sunich and Walker two older kids and then um, we go to the end of the game we got Andres and you know JJ and so um, that's good that's how it should be you should be able to get in those spots be able to slow down the mind and and to be ready for competition you know you've talked about trying to maybe be better um, hitting with two outs and that's kind of how you guys won the game today with Andres coming up and then you know JJ there um, getting getting it done with with two outs yeah well I would like to. We've been working uh, and talking a lot more about getting some hits, you know, and runs before those two outs. But um, I thought he was just the right guy that was up, and uh, you know, JJ was ready, first pitch ready, and you know, hit it where it was supposed to hit, be hit. What do you think of the pitching performances by well, first Scotty and then Ryan Walker? Uh, Scotty wasn't as crisp, as obviously, as he was against Oregon. <laughs> but we're also facing a different lineup. I mean, that, that lineup is the best lineup in the league. And uh, you take those first five hitters and you could put them on any team in the country and they would start be the first five hitters at any place in the country. So um, for our guys to do uh, what they did, that's uh, pretty impressive. That Hayden Rosencrantz in the first game did a pretty good job. You know, got in trouble in the one inning that, uh, you know, kind of got out of the hand. But you could see the future is bright for that kid. He, he's going to be good. Um, He's going against kids or you know, you know, sophomores and juniors who have already been through those battles, and so um, he's going to be good, and we'll get ready for Tuesday. Now you said going in, one of the keys obviously was going to be to try to limit Vaughn, and uh, all things considered, I, I think you guys limited him. Yeah, I pretty well he, all three games. Yeah, he, he got two hits. One was through the six hole, and one was through the four hole, and uh, he can have those. He, uh, I, I, mean, I look at his uh, hitting chart and what he's done to teams throughout this year and pitching staffs and. Um, the, he just doesn't keep uh, balls in the yard, and you've got another guy right behind him. It's not like you can pitch around him because Jonah Davis is, you know, the next best hitter in the league, and he gets his hacks off just as about as good as anybody else. So, um, all in all, you know, you know, I only got 10 hits today, but at least we made the next pitch. Um, a lot of tough pitches being made too. You know, bases loaded, and you know, making plays. I thought our defensive play was, you know, ground ball defense. I don't know what happened earlier on the, uh, the sun ball. I, I still, I never even questioned. I just saw he was safe and there was a juggle. I don't know who it was on. And so, but um, with the plays that Andres made, uh, plays that De La Cruz uh, makes at second base, he, uh, Mason has a chance to be as good a second baseman as there is anywhere um, as far as defensively. Well, you, so Gonzaga Tuesday, game two of that. It's another committee game for you, you think? We'll put uh, probably, I, I don't know who. At least we'll have another day. I had some kids who threw yesterday, so um, it'd be probably by a committee. Uh, could probably see Bryce Moyle starting again. That might, you know, I've talked to Spence about it, but um, I could see that be being an option. You know, going back to the the first game of the day, real quick. What do you just think ended up being the biggest difference in that in that one specifically um, for you guys? Well, that you know, we had a chance to score some runs. Um, we did not do that. Uh, Jared Horn's good, and he's you know just another guy in the weekend going 94 to 97 uh, but um, I thought he was a little erratic um, I thought we did a pretty good job on him I, I did I mean we struck out four times I think against him uh, he's uh, he's a little bit like science at times he's effectively wild you know you just you have to be ready to hit and um, he's the type of pitcher that you have to you know early in the count you're gonna be taking a breaking ball because it's a it's a loopier uh, one that has a, a much lower speed because you got to get ready for that fastball. So I, I thought we did a, a pretty good job. We just need to, you know, that, that one hit. You know, we didn't get a butt down by Rudkin. Um, that changes, you know, they go to third. Now we've got a double play and Plue pops up and then the inning's over. So we had the chances. We just need to uh, execute when those chances are given to us.